We're on Lake St. Hell right now. I am with Ed Bergeron. And Ed, you've got us over here. You're going to go out and do a little bit of kayaking today. And I've heard so many great things about kayaking on Lake St. Hell. And it's actually made up of three lakes. Well, it is. And, and, and it's a, an all sports, all boat lake, actually. It's great for pontoons, for all other kinds of boats, as well as canoes and kayaks. And we're blessed to have a, a fishery here that the DNR says is almost the ideal balance of prey fish and, and predator fish. So they've been watching it for years. It's a wonderful fishery and a great place to fish. Now, we look out behind us and we see a big lake out here. But there's actually smaller areas, a lot of good areas for taking canoes and kayaks into. Yeah, there really is. And I, I've had my kayak all over the, the lake and there's little streams that go off the side that you can explore. You feel like, uh, you know, you're, you're uh, all by yourself way up in northern Canada because it's an 18 mile shoreline and 15 miles of it are wilderness like it was 100 years ago. There's only three miles of it that are developed. So it's really a different experience than what you normally see in a Michigan lake. Okay, now coming out of here with a canoe and kayak, one of the really nice things, it's got special ramps out here. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about how that uh, came about. Well, you know, not everybody has a boat and not everybody, uh, you know, has the, the means to get a boat into the water and so forth. So uh, several years ago, the community came together in partnership with the township and the Department of Natural Resources to build this fishing pier that's 100% accessible, uh, universally accessible. If you have a, a mobility impairment or you use a wheelchair or whatever, you can you can use this. And, and uh, also the canoe kayak launch allows you, even if you use a wheelchair, to be able to get out there and easily transfer yourself into your canoe or kayak and get out on the lake and have some fun. Oh, Tom, hand me the paddle of fishing gear. I've please. got it for you. Thank you, sir. Right here, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And that's a good idea. I don't know how many kayakers we have out there, but you see you've got an attachment here that attaches right to the paddles itself because sometimes you're out there on the water, especially if you're going to do something else like fishing, you're setting that aside and sometimes it inadvertently falls in the water. And if it happens to get away from you before you can get it, then that's a problem. So you attach it with something like this, that keeps it safe. Tom, are you speaking from experience? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> All right. Okay. And what happens now? Oh, okay. you can just pull yourself out. What okay. I'll do is pull myself right into the water, and hopefully I'll stay on the boat in the process. <laughs> As you can see, it's easy for almost anyone to come out here, put a canoe or kayak in the water, and have a good time. There's also a nice boat launch for larger craft, so it doesn't matter what size boat you have, you can come out here and have fun. And I would also like to thank Ed Bergeron for all his great information about Lake St. Helens.